It is officially moving day. Okay, so when you first come in the house, it's one of my favorite features. And yeah, I'm just so excited for a new chapter. I want to Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another moving vlog. I am currently sitting in front of our new house. I am so excited. It is officially moving day. I'm so happy that it's finally here. I just stopped by the house. My mom is picking up the U-Haul. Austin is doing some last minute packing at the house. And then the movers are gonna get to our old house in 30 minutes. So I wanted to come by the new house and make sure that we could get in okay. I needed to do the whole like move-in checklist, make sure everything looks good. And then I also wanted to do an empty house tour for you guys before the house gets filled up with a ton of boxes and then I also need to stop by and turn on because we're moving to like a new county so I need to stop by and go get the water the water's like turned on today but it turns off tomorrow so I need to go stop by there fill up the application do all that stuff and get our water turned on for tomorrow so that is a little update of the morning it is a freezing cold day and it is raining the rain stopped just now for a second but it looks like it's supposed to pick back up and it has like a 90% chance of rain like heavy rains for the rest of the day so it hasn't been raining whatsoever but of course today of all days decided to rain anyway so hopefully none of our furniture like it's wet or damaged or anything like that but let's go ahead and head in and I'll show you guys the new house okay so when you first come in the house this is the little entryway right off here is the garage they still left some of their stuff in there. Um, I know they had like a last minute family thing come up, so they're needing to actually still come by and pick up some of their stuff today. So there's a few things left around the house, but when you come in over here, there is two bedrooms. These are either gonna be our offices or I might make this one like our workout room. I haven't decided which one I wanna keep since we are losing a bedroom from our last house. And then it does have these nice little closets. I like that it has built-in shelving in there. I love this little window. It definitely has like a lot of room in here, which is great for like hanging stuff. Um, I love the windows and closets. I think those are just so cute to have some like nice natural lighting. And then coming back out through here on this side, there is another bedroom. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna take, which one Austin's gonna take yet, but just another bedroom, nice little window, and then has a nice closet, kind of the same thing. And then through here is the guest bathroom. There's me. Um, I love, 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 love these countertops. And I love all like the black hardware as well. So this guest bathroom has so much storage. These are kind of like weird how this is designed. <laughs> it's like one of those like design fails, like you had one job. Um, but I like that, I mean, you can still get to them and there is a ton of storage, which is super nice. It has a nice big mirror. And then in here is just the guest bathroom, more storage up there, which I love. Little shower area. And then over here, this is one of my favorite features about this house. I love that it has this little backyard patio area. It is still a little dirty and they did leave a chair, so I might put that in the garage for them to grab. But it has this super cute little backyard patio area and I absolutely love it because it has a fireplace. They're gonna leave their TV for us, which was so nice. I just think this would be such a cute space to put like some furniture and have like nice little cozy movie nights out here. So obviously it still needs to be cleaned. It's pretty dirty. Um, so that all needs to be swept and everything. And then it does have a backyard and <laughs> It's definitely super muddy today. It goes down here and then all the way back that way. Um, yeah, we might, I'm gonna have to do something about that so the dogs aren't like covered in mud 24 seven, but it does have a backyard. I might put some saw down. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But this is the little patio area. Love it so much. I am glad at least that there's like a nice big paved area here so the dogs aren't going just like directly from the mud into the house because that would just be so dirty. So we can probably set up like a little paw washing station here to make sure their paws are clean before they come in. And then coming into the main part of the house, one of my favorite features is the kitchen. Ah! It is so stunning, so, so pretty. Love the nice, beautiful white cabinets again. Love the countertops. It's just so big and spacious. Absolutely love everything about it. And I also love that it has this cute little window. I thought it'd be so cute for Christmas to put like a little wreath there, just because I don't really wanna put, there is a neighbor like right there. So they could probably see in, especially at nighttime. And like, I can kind of see in their house from here. So I might put something there to kind of cover that. But yeah, the kitchen is stunning. I love it so much. There is a nice giant pantry in here. 
which still needs cleaned. It is a little dirty in here, so we're definitely gonna be doing some like move and cleaning because it's there's definitely still like some dirt and everything left over. And then looking out from the kitchen is my other favorite feature. It is a super beautiful high vaulted ceiling living room with a stunning fireplace. They did just have the carpets cleaned, I think yesterday or the day before. Um, it doesn't look like they were able to like get this out super well. So I don't know if that's maybe something like we could work on or just like cover up maybe, but I love the living room so much. It has these big beautiful windows that look out onto the little patio area. I'm so excited we have an actual fireplace this time. It's gonna be so nice, warm and cozy for the holidays. It has these two super cute windows right here. So that was one thing that I really loved about this house is like especially for my job, it has a ton of natural lighting and just a ton of really good lighting in general because at our last rental, I had to like switch out all of the lights because they were just really dark and yellow and dingy and everything in here is just very nice, white and bright. So love that so much for filming. It has a nice fan up here. Definitely just a really, really great space. And I love that it has these like big beautiful open windows right here i might put curtains on there just so like no one's looking in the windows at night because i feel like that's a little weird and then this is the view of the kitchen from the living room so how they had the house set up is obviously they had their couch in the living room area and then they put a big table right here because there is quite a good amount of space in between like the living room where the carpet ends and then the kitchen. So I think I might kind of follow that same thing and put a, like maybe like a black kitchen table there um, and some nice chairs. And it's gonna be so fun because I can actually like host in this house if we have room for a dining table and just like a little bit more space. And the backyard would be perfect to like have friends over and have little like movie nights, more nights. I'm so excited. So. That is what the kitchen looks like. And then to this side of the kitchen is just another pantry. So again, lots of storage. This also needs to be cleaned. It is a little dirty in here. Um, they did leave paint down here, which is good. I wonder if I can maybe just like paint over some of this stuff. Um, definitely like some marks on the walls, like pretty much everywhere in the house. So there's definitely gonna be like some cleaning that I wanna do in here, but little pantry in there. And then coming down here, this is the laundry room. Love the laundry room so much. I love that it has nice storage space up here and I love that it has this counter so I can actually like have a place to fold my laundry because right now whenever we fold it, we're just like piling it on top of the washer and dryer and then it just like slides off whenever they're going, stuff like that. So I'm very excited about having this. I left behind a little puzzle. I was trying to figure out how to move this to the garage so they could get it, but like I don't want to break it. Um, but I definitely want them to pick that up because I don't want to keep it here, but I don't really have like any like flat boards or anything to get it. So I don't like break their puzzle. They do have kids. So I would hate to accidentally like break a puzzle that the kids like worked hard on or something, but I do definitely want them to like pick that up. But anyways, this is the nice little laundry room. It has a nice window in here. And then coming through here, it has a beautiful, nice double door closet, which is huge, like bigger than my current closet, which I didn't think that was possible because I somehow lucked out and got the most massive closet at my old house, but this one is like absolutely massive. And one of my favorite parts is that it has this nice little mirror here. So I was like, these are gonna be perfect for outfit pictures, showing you guys my outfit. It's just so nice to actually have a mirror in the closet. So very excited for that. And then coming in here is the master bath. Over here is the little toilet. I like that it's kind of like a separate area versus like all out in the open, like my current bathroom is. Um, so you have the shower over here. They did leave. They kind of left a lot of stuff behind. I'm probably gonna take that down and see if maybe they wanna take that. But beautiful shower. Love, 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 love all the black hardware in this house. And then my favorite freaking part is I actually have a big, beautiful bathtub. I have wanted one of these forever. Didn't think I was ever gonna get one and I'm just so excited about this. So I will absolutely be using this thing so much. It has a nice beautiful window right here. And then it also has a nice big double vanity, lots of storage again, a nice big mirror. And then coming through here is the master bedroom. I am making a few changes to this. Um, I do want to definitely switch out these lights because these lights are a little bit like darker and a little bit more yellow You can't tell that well on camera, but it is pretty dark in here and I want it to be a little bit more bright So I'm gonna switch them out and then it does have two windows right here Which I'm so excited about because in my old house there was just one window Like there's just one like right here on this weird corner and there's like some windows right here And it always drove me nuts that it wasn't symmetrical I know that's just such like a random minor thing, but for some reason it just like always drove me nuts um, so I'm very excited that I actually have like a symmetrical bedroom now, but I am going to, I already asked them and they said this is fine. I'm gonna switch out these blinds. So I am gonna take those off and switch them out for some white blinds. Um, we have a nice big wall over here. Maybe I could put like a dresser or something on that side because we'll probably put the bed in the middle. 
Um, you can kind of see where they had their bed in here. And then they left the TV mount up here for us. It looks like it's a nice big like swing one. So we'll probably, because we have the fireplace in the living room already, I think what we're gonna do is take the fireplace that I have in the old house living room and put it right here. So we have a fireplace in our bedroom as well, which will be nice because we have plenty of room to put the fireplace there, dresser on that side. I could probably put like a super cute mirror in this corner. So I like that it definitely has a lot of room so we can kind of like figure out what we wanna do with that. But yeah, that is the master bedroom, the master bathroom. I still cannot get over this bathtub. I'm so excited. It's freezing cold and rainy outside today. So I really just wanna like get in it now, but too much to do so anyways and then coming back through here i'm like out of breath from talking so fast coming back through here goes out into the main area again so anyways that is our new house i'm so excited for it if you guys missed my last moving vlog in the beginning of it i was kind of talking about how we ended up getting this house and i'm just so excited that we're in this house i feel very lucky very thankful very blessed um, it's just like a very last minute change, but you guys can go back and like watch that video if you want like a more in-depth explanation and details and everything like that. And yeah, I'm just so excited for a new chapter. It's perfect timing with it almost being the new year and we're getting out of toxic mold, which is so awesome. So I'm so excited to actually start working on like healing my body, healing all the health issues that I got from living in my past rental. So yeah, I'm very excited for this new chapter. But it is almost noon and the movers I think are just now getting there. My mom is almost back with the U-Haul to my old house. Um, so I probably need to go head over, do the whole water setup thing and then head back to the old house and help them like load the truck and direct and all that stuff, so. Okay, just got to our old house. My mom successfully backed up this 26 foot U-Haul into the driveway. Great job, mom, 10 out of 10. I don't know how she drives these things. I'm so glad that my mom is willing to drive these because you will never find me in there. I would like 100% like back and knock over the entire house. <laughs> definitely made some progress pretty much the whole living room is cleared out we're gonna grab the tv a little bit later but everything is looking good so we're finishing up the final like boxes and everything and then we'll head over to the new house guys are dookies where'd everything go are we moving are you getting a new house are you getting a new house are you getting a new house get in here get in here oh, you. oh my goodness <laughs> what do you guys think See, where did all the furniture go? <laughs> She's like, what the heck? So Harper has actually never lived anywhere. I mean, before I got her, like she was, they found them living in like the country and there was no one actually taking care of them as a whole litter of puppies. So whenever I got her, she didn't actually have a home. So this is her first home that she's ever been in. She has never moved with me. She's been here with me for like the three years since I've got her. So she's gonna be so confused going to a new home because she doesn't know anything different, but I think that they'll like it. It's gonna be a nice change. I know Kai is definitely gonna like the carpet, so it's not as like slippery for him and stuff, but I think it'll be good. Oh, I know. She wants to snuggle. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweet girl. You. Hi. Say hi. You want to snuggle too? Come here, Jen. Come here, Jen. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. 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 Say look at that fluffy butt. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, don't eat my food. We're about to head over, but I was getting hungry, so I just made myself a little protein shake. I'm drinking this True Vani Vanilla Chai Protein. It's vegan, it's super good ingredients. They sent over a ton of their little like sample packets in this cute little pink shaker. It is so good. This is like the best, like I've never had vanilla chai protein powder, but it tastes so good. Normally I absolutely hate protein powders just like mixed with almond milk or oat milk or something. It is so good. I just mix it with some oat milk and it's super delicious. So 10 out of 10 recommend trying if you guys need a good little protein shake recommendation, but having a little quick snack before we head over to the new house and start unloading. I want to set up this air doctor while the things can move in. I'm excited that I got one of these on a great deal. They were like quite a bit off. What are they? It was like $500 so I got it for like 300 or something. Air doctor. Oh yeah. Oh that's good. Yeah that's really good. Because the other ones don't actually filter for like a lot of stuff, but these ones Yes, do. yes, that's right. So I was like, I figured I'd bring it and then 
put this one out so while it's mm -hmm. yeah this way sorry <laughs> it can just go right under the tv mount okay yeah perfect and then the dresser can go on this other wall right here yeah okay perfect I'm glad that it fits in that space <laughs> because we have yes. had that problem where I didn't even think about that. that might not fit in the space. I never even considered and that. Would that be awful? <laughs> that would be awful. Oh. Is it going to like barely fit in that space? Oh my goodness! Holy oh. <laughs> that <laughs> that was even amazing. Think about it. It fits. <laughs> like <laughs> literally, I can. Okay, the movers just left. We got a ton done. We had to go buy another little um, exhaust hose or whatever those are called for the washer and dryer, but we got those all installed. And then we got, I left this door open. And then we got all of our bedroom furniture put in here. We didn't bring our bed or our bed frame with us because um, we are getting a new one, but we got the fireplace in here, which I love the way it looks. It's gonna look so good with like a nice TV right there. And then we have the dresser over here, probably put up some artwork on this wall. And then I was thinking it would look so good to put like a big Christmas tree right there, or maybe like my standing mirror. And then we got the kitchen table and all the boxes, stuff in here. We are getting a new couch, so we didn't bring that in here. I have my air doctor running and then we got everything else moved in down here we have my little entryway table i'll probably do the same well, actually i don't know if i'll do the same thing because there is like stuff in the way so i can't really put those picture frames here so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this yet but we got all the stuff moved in in our offices and since we are losing a room i haven't decided yet whether i want to make this like an office or a workout room. I feel like I have more workout equipment than I do like office stuff because I just have my standing desk and my little walking pad. Because um, I was thinking I could put like a big mirror right here, put maybe like a little weight thing right here, like weight rack, and then have my treadmill here. I honestly just don't know what I'm gonna do with this room yet. So we'll see what ends up happening. I got a ton of like PR right before we left. So I just packaged that all up and brought that with us. But we kind of just piled everything in here for now. So I'll probably start going through that this week. All right, we got the dryer vent, or not the dryer vent, I don't know what it is, the hose connector adapter. I'm also gonna grab some hand soap because we don't have any. I saw these little hand soaps and I love the way the bottles look. I think they only have the eucalyptus mint, but that would be good, right? Okay. Ooh, that smells so good. That smells like a spa. That does smell like That smells so good, I kinda like that. That pretty accurate. Okay, we decided to go with these. Oh my gosh, I'm going to drop them all. These hand soaps. We got two of the hand soaps for the bathroom and then one for dish soap. So we can start washing some of our dishes. But I love the bottles. I think they're so cute and they smell so, so good. So got some hand soap finally because we've been using hand sanitizer for like everything. Mm -hmm. We also found these big like six by eight foot rugs. And they kind of feel like utility rugs a little bit. But we thought this would be good just temporarily until we figure out the backyard to put this on that patio area so that the dogs like run their paws over that first before they get in the house in case it is muddy at all so and it's actually only 27 dollars, so it's a really great price so i think we're gonna grab one of these and hopefully the dogs don't get the house like super muddy until we figure out how to deal with all of the mud so okay now i think we're set oh my gosh you're gonna hit me with that <laughs> okay that's they really need to make bigger carts don't stop trying to hit me with it. You can not wait what's bending. What Look what you did. Here. Stop. Oh, you're Go. Ready. You're bending it. Go. Goodness. You're gonna knock you're gonna knock me. Stop. You're gonna knock me. Stop it. You're gonna knock everything over. Alright, got all of our stuff. I also grabbed some dish detergent because we were running out of this. We have dishes that we need to wash. Okay, got some dish stuff. I think that looks so cute there. Let's go put these in the other bathrooms. Okay, probably just gonna put one in the middle for now since we only have two of them and then one in the other guest bathroom. All right, we have soap. <laughs> Okay, we just finished. We had like our stuff that was in the fridge before we moved in these coolers. Just finished putting those back into the fridge. I'm so sad about my fridge because everything else turned out so great, but there is this huge dent. I don't know if you guys can see that. That got put in my fridge. It is like a really big one and super noticeable. So I'm so sad about that. Thankfully I did get like moving 
I think like coverage insurance type thing. So I should be able to like submit a claim for that and hopefully we can somehow get it fixed or I don't even know how they do that, but it put a giant dent and I'm so sad about it. But other than that, everything went well. So anyways, but I think now we're at a good stopping point. So I think we're probably gonna head home, go grab the pups and then show them the new house. I'm so excited to see what they think. I think they're gonna absolutely love it. Sit, how's it do? Sit, sit, good boy, ready? Okay, go get it. <laughs> you ready, Harper? Yo, you okay? Come here, Harper. <laughs> She's like, nope, I want to go back to my other house. Give me Harpy. Okay, you ready? Okay, go explore, Harper. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys smell the other dogs? <laughs> Our, the landlords who previously lived here have three dogs, so I'm sure they smell a lot of dog. <laughs> Where is Kai going? Kaiser Dookies? There you are, what do you think? Honestly, just sniffing around the whole house is gonna wear them out so much. Come here, Kaiser Dookies. Can I take this off? Can I take this off? Can I take this You all tired now, Kaiser Dukies? Are you all tired now, Kaiser Dukes? <laughs> He's like, yep. <laughs> okay, I decided before I go to bed, I'm gonna make myself a nice little bath. I'm gonna use some of this Dr. Teal's. It's their just like fragrance-free Epsom salt. I really love their stuff. And take a nice hot bath. I'm so excited. This is the first time in years that I've had like a whole standalone bathtub, so I am so excited for it. Kaiser Duke over here is whining because I won't let him get in the bathtub with me. When he was a puppy, he always used to try to get in the bathtub with me. It was so funny, but. Yes, oh my goodness, I know. just finished making our little air mattress bed. We got this one off of Amazon. It's from the brand. I think it's like called, it's under here somewhere. I think it's called King Coil. Yeah, King Coil. Um, we just got the California King size because I knew that Kaiser Duke would try to sleep in bed with us tonight. So I wanted to make sure to have enough room for them. But God, he's like, this is not as comfortable as my usual mattress. <laughs> um, but this is our little sleeping situation for tonight. We have a mattress on the way. Um, I don't think it's gonna be here for like another week or so though. So we are gonna be living the air mattress life. I also ordered us some new pillows and I swear these are quite literally the best pillows ever. They're pretty inexpensive. I get them off of Amazon. It's by the brand Utopia Bedding and they are just the best pillows ever. So I need to open these, let them fluff up a little bit and then I'll put them on the bed. But that is gonna be a wrap for today's vlog. I'm so sleepy, it's super late. So we're gonna go ahead and go to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching. Kaiser Duke, can you say good night? Can you say good night to everyone? Say thank you so much for watching.